YouTube. This is a coffee review of Fairly Traded Cafe Fair morning blend ground coffee in the dirty marked up bag. This, uh, this certified fair trade coffee is medium roasted to produce full body coffee with intense brightness. Rainforest Line certified. I've had this brand before. They are very proud of their different certifications. Uh, fairly traded means practice which gives small farmers. If, think of a co-op if you don't know about these things. Uh, they tend to uh, treat their workers better. At least that's the idea. Pay them better. That's the idea. It's not dominated by a large global corporation. Like I said, co-op, which means a bunch of smaller farmers gathered together to compete with the big boys out there. That's what we get in coffee here. Morning blend. Bag note. There's a whole lot of reading on the bag. You can read yourself if you like, but we'll get straight into the review. Bag note. It smells like chocolate and coffee. Hints of brightness. But a blend of uh, coffee and chocolate, heavy on the heavy on the coffee side. But like I said, the brightness is hidden in there. Now, if you don't quite know what brightness is, and I don't blame you, I didn't know for the longest time either. That's that acidic tone you get out of some coffees. Why they call it brightness is beyond me, but to me it's acidity. French press. It's sat for the adequate amount of time. Actually a little over. Where it is. Oh, there we go. And hopefully it's cooled down enough to be able to make it worth drinking. Alright. Get that coffee all over the place. Make it fun to clean. Alright. We have a brown head. Is that interesting? It is a cocoa brown. It's actually lighter on my side of the camera than yours. All the way through, it does light towards the bottom, light towards the top. Looks nice. And what you smell here is what you smell in the bag. It's a um, mocha coffee intense. But that brightness, that acidity is gone. Nope, nope, sorry. It's buried way, way, way in the back. But, very coffee, hints of chocolate. Well, a little more than hints. Whoa, there's that acidity. <laughs> but you don't get in the skin and the nose, you get in the palate. Holy cow. It is a nice, light uh, coffee flavor. Hints of chocolate, not cocoa, chocolate. And enough acidity to eat through metal. The first couple sips, man, knocks you down. But as it eats away your taste buds, in the most kindest way of saying, as your tongue adapts to it, that acidity, uh, Fades, but does not go away. What is very nice is the even mouthfeel. Some coffees, much like uh, some stouts in beers, you get this watery, then you get this full body, then you get this watery end on it. This stays with a nice mouthfeel from beginning to end. There is no wateriness to it. But not bad. The more you sip it, the more you start to adapt to it, the more that acidity, the brightness, starts to, to fade away on it. Making it quite nice. Now, I usually like to 
punctuate kind of time of year I would have this in. And we're right now at the taping of this. We're going, we're starting into fall, which means we got some hot bits and some cold bits. And I have to say, this is a good time of year for this particular type of coffee. It's a little strong for hot days, but not too bad. But I think it'll be a little weak for the for the ice of winter time. Now I myself like a nice full body when it comes to winter. Something to compete with that cold chill. This is nice. It's got some body to it, but I don't think it has enough. It's it's on the edge. So summertime, I think it lacks enough body that it makes it a nice sipper. But then again, when it's a hundred. 110 and up, like it gets around here, then it might be a little bit too strong. So try it, see what you think. Any comments down below? Better yet, go out, buy it, try it, and get your opinion on Cafe Fair morning morning blend of coffee. Let the rest of us on YouTube community know your thoughts about this particular product. And until as always, until next time, keep on drinking.